If you give me just two minutes of your time, I'm going to share with you one of the most important financial formulas that you need to know before going out to invest in rental property. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Matthew Long. And on this channel, all we talk about is making money, saving money, and how to better invest. This may possibly be my absolute favorite, if not most important financial formula I use when doing investments in real estate. And it is called the cash on cash return. And this is why you need to know it. Okay, so if you want to know the textbook definition of cash on cash return, it's right here. It is the rate of return often used in real estate transactions that calculates the cash flow or cash income earned on the cash invested in a property. And now I'm going to show you how to break down the math and the formulas and how to actually utilize it to your advantage. All right, so check it out. Let's say you've identified this piece of property behind me. In this house, it sells for $450,000. So let's go to Matthew's Blackboard and let's do the math with this property starting at $450,000. So when investing in real estate, I always like to at least put 20% down. A lot of people get a preferred interest rate if you go 25 or 30% down. Typically loan to value on most rental property is typically 80-20 with 20% down. So in the case of this property, we'd be putting down $90,000 on a $450 purchase. Now let's talk about the debt service. Without getting deep in the weeds about interest rates, let's just say your debt service includes your principal and interest, your HOA, your taxes, meaning your property taxes, as well as your insurance. And let's say your total debt service out the door for expenses on this loan to acquire this property is $2,150 or $2,150. So the way the cash on cash formula works is we're actually going to take our annual cash flow, which is pre-tax income, so our annual cash flow above, and we're gonna divide that by the total cash we've invested in this project. And let's also say that this property rents for $2,500 a month. If we know our debt service and expenses are $2,150, that's gonna leave us $350 a month in cash flow. Now that we know what our monthly cash flow looks like, we need to look at that on an annualized basis. So we'll take 350 and times it by 12 for 12 months in a calendar year. So 350 at 12 months, that's a $4,200 a year in annualized cash flow. And now we'll divide that by the $90,000 we put down as a down payment for our initial investment in this rental property. And if we do the math on our cash on cash return, that's going to come out to a cash on cash return of 4.6%. Now, why is this formula so important? If we know we're getting 4.6% on our money, we always need to judge how much we would make or yield off that money if we had it in a different investment. The best tool for comparison is the S&P 500 on an index fund. And how did it do last year? Well, take a look. Just last year, it did just over 20%. And historically, the S&P will probably provide you anywhere between 9 and 11% year over year. So if your cash on cash return on the real estate property is only 4.6%, you are well below the risk premium that you could expect if you just put your money in an index fund. So in closing, that particular deal, I would not be interested in because for me, if I'm gonna invest in the risk of assuming rental property with tenants, damages, et cetera, that is a lot more stress than just simply putting my money in an index fund. So it has to beat the S&P 500 for me to make that investment. I hope that this video provided you value. Come back to it as many times as you need to. But again, the cash on cash return is one of the best financial formulas and one that you should always use when you go to invest in rental property. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys on the next one.